this is referring to those questions and their poetry and his line that he says he talks to God he says if you are me then why why am I me why you are there if you are me then what is this body that I carry what is the self here myself and you if we're one or two and he says that so Baha'u'llah says love at that stage it becomes a a veil There is no love between Jesus Christ and God. That love is a veil. There is no love between Baha'u'llah and God. Love is a veil. You're saying Baha'u'llah doesn't love God? I say no. Does Jesus Christ love God? No. Love is a veil, Baha'u'llah says. All right. You're the lover. And God is your beloved. You have a relationship. That's love. Then I see two. I see God and I see you. If you go higher, further up, you can't see two. You have to see one. Why there are two? What does that mean? That means you become God. If you become God, then there is no love between you two. You are him, he is you. You are not in love with yourself. And there's no other beloved. It's just you. So, if you want the love to become a veil and go away, then you have to become God. You have to become your beloved. God, Jesus Christ, is God. This is just a manifestation of him you see here. They are both one and the same. You can't say, the Queen of England, who is on the TV, is in love with the Queen of England in TV. There's no such a thing. They're both one and the same. There are not two queens. There's just one. One is in the, you know, Windsor Castle, and the other one that we see on the TV. But they're not split into two. It's just one. Always there's one. So, God and Jesus Christ are not two. They're one. Translation of God in the earth is Jesus. Translation of God in earth is Baha'u'llah. But Baha'u'llah and Allah are the same. They're one and the same. One is like body, one is like soul. A man cannot be separated from his body. If he is, he's dead. God cannot be separated from Baha'u'llah. Glory of God. God without glory is not God. It has to have that. It's always there. As Jesus says, I am in Father, Father is in me. He says that we're all one and the same. This is the stage where the burning becomes so fierce. Just like the peace that goes faster and faster towards the sun. When it's far away, the speed is not very high. But as closer and closer it gets to the sun, the speed becomes faster. So fast so uh, amazingly hard and harsh to the ordinary uh, human eye that we cannot comprehend. This is what demonstration of love and beyond love, I would say, was done by Salim Alfa. Baha'u'llah, which is God himself, he's uh, totally getting uh, enthusiastic, I should say, getting affected seriously getting motivated God himself is looking at him and Baha'u'llah in the visitation tablet of visitation towards Suleiman Khan has some very strange sayings I'm going to read some of it which I've translated unfortunately because there's no translation this is a quotation from Baha'u'llah my translation is not official this is in a book called uh, uh, the event of Tehran Vakaye Tehran uh, uh, that there's three volumes. Uh, one of them volumes is the Vagaye Tehran, the event in Tehran, and the story of Suleiman is there, and this is the tablet of visitation from there. Baha'u'llah says, quote, Greeting and salutation unto thee, O thou in whose body cut into pieces, indeed the day of resurrection had occurred. The day of resurrection has occurred when Baha'u'llah came, when Bob came. But Baha'u'llah says, 
when they got you and they cut you into pieces because that's what they did they cut Suleiman's body into pieces and hang him from two sides of the bazaar he said that was when the day of resurrection occurred he says that was the hour the hour then came in on the same visitation another time place he says greeting and salutation unto thee O thou when his body dropped on earth the heaven cried I wish I was the earth the heaven of God says I wash I wish I was under your body that you would fall on me see what God says to this man last part of the same it's a uh, couple of pages this is another one it says I testify verily with the burning torch of your body at the darkest night the complicated path where are discovered and enlightened until the Kadr himself was guided to the realm of unknown. Now Kedr or Khezr as we say is the name of a prophet. Uh, he would be he's a reference to manifestation of God. Muslims in their uh, fate. There are two prophets. One is Hez, one is El El Elias, which might be Elijah. Or somebody else. I don't know exact translation. But they say if you are in the land and you don't know what to do and you're lost, Hez is the prophet of God who will come and guide you. And if it's in the sea, Elias will come. And the Hez is an immortal prophet. He does not die. He's always alive. Why? because he has entered to the unknown realm they call it and has drank from the water of eternity therefore he never dies Baha'u'llah says to him to Suleiman here your body when was torched and was walking in that darkest night of the ignorance it opened the door opened the way that the Khizr himself was the manifestation of God who was supposed to help mankind and people he himself by your light was guided to unknown you were the one he says that guided him to the realm of unknown that you're God basically that's what he says to him Baal. so As I said, there are many, many examples as such, but this story of Suleiman Khan is one of them that is very, very complicated to understand the exuberance, the enthusiasm, the sheer yearning desires of this man towards his love for the truth and the embodiment of the truth, the Bob, that he would ask such a death that when he asked to kindle his body with those uh, burning candle, the executioner could not do it. He says, I can't do it. It's too hard for me. They say, he told him, I show you how. And he did it in his body in order to show him how to do it. So this is where he says in his poetry, if you are me and I am you, what is this body? as if this man is completely experiencing out of his body. Pain is ir irrelevant to him. Pain soothes him. He loves that pain. Not like a masochist, if that's what you're thinking. He's not a masochist. This pain is to demonstrate to them. You want to know how much painful it is for me to be away from the Bob? The pain, separation from the Bob is so big, he says, for me. What happened to him? And I blame myself. This blame is so hard, so painful, that this physical pain is only reduces that pain. This pain is only an antibiotic to that pain. 
Antibiotic is a germ, really. You're eating to kill the other germs. In this case, the pain that was inflicting on the body of Suleiman was an antibiotic for the real pain. Now you want to measure love and see what love is. Baha'u'llah gives you one example. Try to ponder upon and contemplate what kind of a conditions of love and exuberance was Suleiman in to go through this? He's one of the thousands of them. I'm going to explain as it comes towards the other attributes and the qualities. I'm going to explain briefly with some of these stars of sacrifice, of honor, of generosity, of patience, of a steadfastness. Very well. As they say, there is no end to love and explanation of love. May God be with you. Till the next time.